All right, so we are back at area 18. We just died of dehydration after logging in. Uh, logged in had 6% uh, of hydration left. And as per the rules of the challenge, I can't buy a drink. So I just slowly died. Here's a quick clip of what that looked like and sounded like. The uh, heartbeat was pretty intense. Six, five, four, three, two, one. But I also realized while I was at Grim Hex, I don't think there's anywhere to rent a ship, so I was actually trapped at Grim Hex. So, now that we're back at Area 18, since we died and regenerated here, um, I am going to go ahead and buy a starter ship so I don't have to be stranded anymore. I happen to have an undersuit and a helmet here. These, I'm guessing these got transferred here after some of my armor and stuff disappeared. I've heard of that happening. But these are ones that I picked up. They aren't the defaults. I've already thrown the defaults away from dying. So I'm just going to equip these and get moving. I just want to go out and we are going to rent a ship and go to New Deal and get this purchased so we can have it. to Hurston to see New Deal and get our first ship. This will also be awesome to do because we will have to set our home base of operations at Area 18 or any other major city. I can set it at uh, Bajini Point or something, easily get a ship and have access to my gear and not have to go through the entire tram system of a city every single time I need to start this game. Uh, what's happened? Oh no. We have been pulled out of quantum by something. Just gonna get out of here and see if our mind do I have it. Can I jump? Can I get away from this? Oh no. Okay. Well that's good. I thought I was about to be murdered. So we are trying to get to Lorville so I can do a new deal. Luckily the uh, New Deal is actually in the spaceport, so that makes things a lot easier. I don't have to travel all over to Lorville and get lost. Alright, we made it to New Deal. Let's purchase this Aurora. There it is. The Aurora ES. We have purchased our first ship. How good did that just feel? No rush like buying a new ship. try out this not so secret stash I don't have any weapons but we'll see if we can do the same things that we've done in the bunker missions go to the wreck site find all of my stolen stash so I've also learned that you can't punch you have to press the middle mouse button to do melee and do takedowns just another uh, point of confusion for me but yeah let's try this out let's see what we can do So we found a craft site. Contract said there might be some more people here. Looks like we're grabbing some uncut slam out of a, uh, what is that, a claimer? Okay, it looks like you can go in right over here. All right. 
Let's see if we can't die. So it looks like... Is this the way to go? I'm gonna get inside. Ah, right here. Use a weapon. There should be other people in here. It's so quiet. This one's actually kind of nerve wracking. I think I might be hearing footsteps, I'm not sure. Hey, floating drugs. This is going to take some time. <laughs> is there like a door or something I could throw this out of? I thought I saw one. Ah, there we go. All right, somebody in the comments said I could throw this too if I selected place and it selected far enough for there to be an arc, but I'm not. Okay. That'll work. All right, where are the other two? Got 33. 42. Okay, good. that's where you drop it off. 42, that's... So that's already outside, it looks like. So this is the last one I need. I don't think anyone else is here. Famous last words. I haven't heard... Usually they're stomping around and you can hear them from outside. Unless they're going to show up soon. Look over there. Wait. There we go. Come on. Well, here's the slam. Two out of the three. If I had a bigger ship, it would be cool to be able to take some of this stuff and sell it as well, because I'm gu guessing these little packages are probably worth something. I'm already cramming three of these in my tiny aurora so I doubt that's going to be a good idea. What is that sound? I really hope that's not a person. There's a hole here. I don't like that. I'm going this way. Dead body. Jump out of here. How far down is this? Doesn't look too bad. Alright, we are outside. Let's get this over to the ship. There's the other one that I threw. Alright, next one. Oh. So the wind's coming. Whoa! This guy just scared the crap out of me. I've got one more to get. Right, where's the last one? Last one is 52 meters that way. Well, he didn't shoot at me, so let's see if we can grab this last one without getting killed. Ah, 
There's a door. Alright, this is... There it is. Let's grab it and get out of here. Before this guy has a change of heart. We dropped it and... Okay, we're good. Let's go. I think there's a ship already here, so there's a Pisces expedition there. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble here. I'm seeing a lot of players at these locations today. Is there a way to not target things? I'd like to be able to just to turn that off and not have to keep this thing targeted. Fly away. Just fly away. I don't want anything to do with you. We got Lieutenant Dan over here aiming at me and I don't like it. I'm out. Well, this wind is awful. Drop this off and get this mission over with. Alright, looks like he's leaving. Maybe? Alright, yeah, he's taking off. Alright, so we're gonna land here and get this unloaded. And hopefully, not get like shot up or blown up or anything. Go. Okay. So, drop off box round two. Click on the place that it's supposed to go. Ah. And look at that, it worked. Game's not glitching, I'm just an idiot. And the last one. Twelve thousand AUC plus bonuses. No bonuses though, because there was no one there. What else can we do? Are there any other good contracts? I'd like to find a couple more of those really expensive ones, or really high-paying ones, because if we're gonna get up to anywhere that we want to go, it's gonna cost. We're gonna need some pretty heavy hitters. I can't do that one. There's no way this little Aurora could pull off anything like that. 11,000, 2,500, 9,000, 3,000, 9,000. This is not going to be a good bounty hunter ship. Remove cleave jumper is not going to happen. Halt illegal surveillance. I might be able to do that in one of these. And then service beacons. What are these? You know what? We'll try this one. It's only 1,000. Maybe this can take it out. Maybe these are... Lucrative that we can do pretty quickly, but we can also double this up with the call to arms. All channels, I'm under attack. Please, if you hear this, help me. Yeah, I see a lot of you in the comments yelling at me about a call to arms because I keep forgetting to turn it on. But uh, we got it on this time. Let's see if we can take this guy out. I've never done a bounty hunt mission in an Aurora. I don't I have no idea how well this is going to go. Me, please, I'm under attack. It's not I'm working on it. You have my car, that's amazing. What do we got? It's a Mustang. I am going fast. Slow down. Alright.
little shift's doing a lot better than I expected it to do. Ah. Problem is, I'm already almost out of ammo. More? Contacts. More? I've almost used my entire... All of my ammo trying to take on this one ship. Damn it. Got it. I thought uh -huh. I was a goner. Okay. Woo. Thanks. What we got? <laughs> 1,500 out of that was quick. But yeah, I used over half my ammo. How much is that even going to cost to refill? I think that does it for this episode. We got a ship. We made a little bit of money. I need to find more lucrative ways to make money if there's any hope of making enough money before the uh, the wipe ha happens. Uh, I've been getting a couple idea or a couple ideas on mining. The issue is the initial scope of this challenge was I wasn't allowed to rent anything outside of starter ships, but I might have to adjust that a little bit to see what we can do because I don't. I don't have enough time just to grind through random contracts in an Aurora to make a to an 890 jump. Well, if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments and we'll figure this out. Thanks for watching.